Hello, hi. Um, today we're going to talk about all the site modeling tools. Uh, I would love to go uh, through all of them so you will have a, a better understanding on each tool's functionality. And the first one I want to talk about, um, um, you know, site modeling overall is which is this tool. Uh, they have different modes, so each mode have different ways of change the topography. Uh, the first one I want to talk about is basically the contour mode. Uh, let me go to the tool plan. Uh, basically, this was is if I uh, hit it, if I just um, there's a snap to contour elevation mode, which is pretty cool. So you basically you can snap to different uh, contours, and um, you can click just basically draw new contours. Okay, um, basically you see here if you click it, it will say site modifier, and then they will say the elevation because I snap it. So this is new elevation, and then you can apply to proposed. Uh, and so once this is done. You can update our site model so you will see they will make changes on it. Um, and make sure in site model you show, make sure it's proposed. Um, so, after when I hide my architecture, you will see they create those kind of weird lines. Um, the, you'll see um, the uh, 50 is still here, um, but the mine line is still also 50. Okay, um, so you so what uh, the, the reason they did this is because um, we didn't set up the grid limit. So the grid limit is just limit um, to tell the Waxworks you only gonna change the topography of this specific area. Uh, let me show you. For example, um, I with this tool, I just this is a really nice tool. I just draw an area. You don't. I don't. You don't have to draw a lot. And then once you draw this, so they won't change. They only change this area. Okay. Um, then you update. So you'll see. Then they will, you know, make the change really smoothly and nicely. Okay. Uh, when I hide my, you know, building, you will see I make the topography more gentle for the building. Um, so this is the first one. Uh, it's about grid limit and uh, contour modifier. So um, the other one is path. But before I do that, I want I do want to show you one functionality. Um, is for example, I have all these kind of uh, walls, and all that. Um, I can select them all, but I don't want to trace those walls. I just want to get the shape of it. Uh, you can actually do that by convert. Go to convert. And then go to convert the copy. See here, convert copy to polygons. You can do that if you click it. See, they will copy a polygon for you. Okay, that's pretty handy. So I could then um, just use this to do my uh, pad. Uh, I just did some um, editing work, so I got this um, boundary. Uh, what I do is pretty straightforward. I just select them and right click and create objects from shapes. And then I site I use site modifier and um, I want to show property dialog. I want to delete source shapes. I click OK. Let's click OK. I can select different mode. You know, uh, this this way I want to talk about pad. Which I click. Um, they will ask the elevations um, and uh, in this case I set, I want to do 46 feet and click OK. Only thing I need to do is just update it. See they created pet for me. Okay, uh, you can go to the right. Just go up ink. Um, if I change 3D display to proposed, see they change some you know topography for me okay so I have a flat pad and the topography is 46 okay let's select this at 46 um, one thing I do want I want to emphasize is in pad you can give slope 
Okay, that's the major thing. Uh, the shell slope. You see, this is done. Work great. See fall. That's how we do it. Um, so for this slope, I just want to show it. Um, I you know show slope. See here, this zero percent fall, and there. See this arrow. I actually have an arrow down there. Here you can change the uh, the direction by you know drag this bar. Um, and drag this arrow so you can change the direction you want so for example in this case i want to give like three percent you click it then um, you update the model see they will they will change topography for us okay that's pretty cool and uh, you can also just not just do one way but it can do sideways for example um, in you select the modifier again and you see you can show slope a and slope b both see there's both directions so you can set up other directions too you can just move the arrows um, and uh, enter the numbers okay things pretty straightforward um, and you can change you know this is uh, a this is a so for a you know you can give negative three percent they will change to negative three okay the same with this if i all change to negative three and update see it it changed okay um i can just um it's it, it's a really great way of doing things um so this is pat um after pad, then um, I'm going to talk about how hardscape. You can actually do um, grading on hardscape because similar with pad, uh, you just um, right click and uh, create object from shapes and uh, select hardscape. And then delete source shapes, show property dialog. The tricky thing is here in the 3D type, you make sure you choose pad modifier and you click OK. Then they will have uh, hardscape. Um, what this was, and you can choose the style, you can pick um, all the preset style. You know, in this case, I can choose. Um, but one thing is, you got to make sure they, they have elevation. Um, this time I want make it 45, well, actually 48. So, see, it's somewhere here. Um, and um, if I update the model, see, they will find, find for us, okay? Um, the tricky thing about this is for hardscape, you see the overlapping. They overlap with each other. So um, my tip is when everything's done, you will move the elevation up. For example, if I move elevation just up for like three inch, then it shows up really well. Okay. Um, remember, you can also draw. You can also draw the border. See what I did here. Um, the cool thing about this is they will draw all the things for you. You know. Um, See here, they even have like different layers of their structures. See different layers of materials. Um, that's pretty cool. Save a lot of time. Okay. Uh, since this is a pad, um, you see you select. You can do exact same thing of pad. You know, um, you can set up the slope. If you say, oh, I need slope, then you know you can have all kinds of slope. We have slope A, slope B, like what I did, what we did uh, before. Um, okay, so this is see you can do exact same thing with what we did there. Okay, but this is just with hardscape down there. Okay, some preset structures. Um, lastly, I want to talk about texture bed. That's the most easiest, easiest, um, pretty easy thing. Um, uh, is you just select object and go to. Create object frame shapes and then 
select site modifier and uh, click OK. What do you do? You just um, select texture bed and you click OK. And if they want you choose like a whatever uh, class, but this time I choose to site modifier. Click OK. Um, so they will have a texture pad here. Uh, right now they don't have any texture, but I can create a new class, name it texture, and uh, give uh, textures. Uh, click OK. And if I just assign to selection um, in here, in, yeah, if I in the texture from class, yeah, this one, I select the texture, then um, I select the site modifier and update. See, they will show the texture. The textures perfectly follow the topography, okay? That's pretty cool. So one thing I forgot to talk about is actually, see here, you can actually add grid limits, okay? If you add grid limits, um, the the contours will be more clean. You won't have mass mass changes. Okay. Um, see. You know you will be more cleaner. Um, so that's just how I put it. Um, the last thing is grade tool. If I you just define first thing is you define area. Okay. You want to define a great area. For example, I define here. Um, and then I want to draw ditches like valley. Okay, um, then you use this tool called a grade tool. What they do is, um, you just draw, you know, just draw elevation, and then you want to say downgrade. Uh, you want to give a percentage. You say I want to give like ten percent, and then you click OK. And it, make sure you choose change sign models. That's really important. And click OK. See, they will um, have some. Uh, they'll give an arrow and have two points. They show from here to here is ten percent. That's how I set up. Okay. Um, because I said change sign model. Um, if I update, they will change topography and make sure they're ten percent done. Okay, um, I can do one more here to here. Um, downgrade. I can change to ten percent. Click OK. If I update site model, see the change topography for us. Okay, um, so they will looks like a two wells. Okay, if I hide. See, it will look like a well is okay. Um, all right, um, that's pretty much it. Just remember what we talked about today. Um, it's most of the tools we're gonna use.